Film director Kim Gi Duk and actor Cho Jae Hyun are facing more sexual assault allegations in addition to previously reported ones raised early this year amid the Me Too movement. The victims of the recently revealed cases included actresses and makeup staffers. However, Kim and Cho still plead their innocence. This and more in today's Culture Corner. <laughs> More women have raised shocking sexual assault allegations against movie director Kim Gi Duk and actor Cho Jae Hyun. A TV investigative journalism program reported about the additional allegations on Tuesday. In the broadcast, a woman said that she had been sexually harassed by Cho at the restroom of a bar in the past. Former staffers on Kim's movies disclosed that the director had forcibly touched the actresses during filming and that had been regarded as a usual practice. Kim and Joe denied the accusations through their legal representatives, calling them groundless. Joe said that his counterclaim had not been aired in the broadcast. Kim complained that the alleged victims are taking advantage of the media under the cover of anonymity. Kim and Joe have again pledged to take strong legal action against the new accusers. There are growing concerns about causing secondary damage to the women. An exhibition of works by French artist Edgar Degas was abruptly canceled just a few days ahead of its opening on Wednesday. Marking the 40th anniversary of the opening of the Sejong Center for the Performing Arts, the exhibition was highly anticipated and attracted a lot of attention as the first large-scale exhibition by the French artist to be held in an Asian country. However, the Sejong Center announced the cancellation of the exhibition on Monday, just two days ahead of its opening. The center explained that the cancellation was due to a delayed delivery of exhibits from France. It added that it's contacting each pre-booked customer for a refund. However, the center's website or social media channels are inundated with customers' complaints that they have still not been contacted for refunds and they have no idea how to get them. The opening of the exhibition had already been postponed from July. This is why criticism has mounted that the Sejong Art Center should have prepared for such a situation.